Couple more targets for the MiG. It's always fun watching these MiGs go in. Beautiful. Hello guys and welcome to episode 3 of my Blue Decay campaign in Warno, playing on the pack side. Previously we managed to utterly demolish a couple of Panzer Grenadier battalions and we also hit the VKK 442 very hard near Alsfeld so they are on the back foot there and we've got ourselves in a nice position to defend this. We're going to set up our defences properly there and then screen my flanks uh, with these extra forces on the sides. We have the 2nd and 3rd Battalion of the Mordschützen Regiment 22 chasing down the Rocket Artillery Battalion of the Germans. So we'll try and take that out while we're at it. But in the meantime, let's just check for movement points. We do have a few movement points remaining. I'm not sure if I really want to move too much with these divisions. We can get that one back on the road, just sort of keep them like this. Uh, this one can actually just zoom all the way forwards and we can have... Uh, our artillery move all the way up as well and this leader unit can also move up and the nice thing about the leader unit is it does have a lot of AT guns and these will be really really good on the defense the conkers can swarm the leopards as well so that it is something definitely for me to consider I'm just going to move forwards the AA slightly and we'll redeploy that further up it might be worth me moving that across towards Schrechsbach here so that we can have it cover our advance on this side as well. I am very tempted to just try and keep up with this unit, but if I right click here and there's another unit behind, there's a good chance that they'll be able to attack me in the same turn. So let's move away from those and we'll see next turn where those troops go. But for this turn, now let's just organize our defenses here. I would like to cut off the edge of the map here so we're going to just move in this direction to make sure that happens and then we can move on back we'll push the pioneers behind here get the tanks in the middle and that will do lovely set up a nice six block attack or slick six block uh, defense here and we can have this unit kind of hanging out in the middle near Willinghausen in order to prevent any flanking attempts. All right, let's move on to the next turn. See what the NATO forces get up to. So the Panzer Grenadier Battalion actually falling back. I think it's because it was maxed out on fatigue. We just want to try and make a big old brick wall that they have to punch through. High Command can send additional reinforcements to aid Alsfeld's defense. Are we in need of artillery or combat helicopters? Well, of course, we have tons of MNRS already, and yeah, it would be fantastic to have even more, but we're going to, of course, choose the MI8s and MI24s, which will be really, really awesome to use. Very well, Comrade General. The requested reinforcements have arrived. They are ready for combat. And up they go towards the front line. But on this right hand side we do have a Panzer Battalion pushing into my Mochutsen regiments. Now, this is purely Leopard 2A3s, couple of Gapards, not really much infantry. There's a good chance here that if we find the right terrain then we can really punish uh, this Panzer Battalion. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to move into the tree line here. We'll make sure we have these guys behind. We can bring over uh, this unit as well, although we probably want it to be in a position where can reinforce, but that's technically still able to fight. I'm going to need a unit that can block all this artillery. So we'll switch, switch down here really, really quickly with all of these forces. Make sure they are covered. Brilliant. Okay. And if they attack here, we'll reinforce with the 3rd Battalion of the Mochitsen Regiment. And we can also bring in our air support. And what I can do in the meantime is we can have this move down as a sort of blocking force. 
and we can move the AA over here and deploy that so that we have both fronts covered. I'm going to shift towards my rocket artillery as much as I can and I'm probably going to shift over this unit slightly so that we can get the leader unit in here. Perfect. So we've created our block on the front line. Let's move on to the next turn and see if the NATO forces attack us. I expect they will. Here we go. The first of the Panzer Battalions coming into the fray. Lots of very elite leopards. They are going to be backed up by some pretty depleted forces. This unit of Sijodongs has absolutely no AT, but that is a large amount of men, so we'll still have to respect it. For the auxiliary, we'll bring in the leader unit so that we can make good use of those AT guns, as I mentioned before. And I'm somewhat tempted to bring in a Mochutsun regiment rather than another armored unit, because we are going to be in urban terrain, most likely. It says that up there. And we'll use... I don't know if I'll use the rocket artillery. Actually, yes, I will use the rocket artillery because we're not bringing in the pioneers. If I was not if I was bringing in the pioneers instead of the leader unit, then we would use the other artillery. And then for air support, we do kind of want to go all in here. So we'll bring in the JBGs. I believe these are the guys, the MiG-23BNs that have AT and such. So they will be really useful for popping those leopards. Now, technically, this is only a minor victory, but they were 27 strength. Well, of course, tactical battle. And we'll jump on in. They are going to have their own artillery battalion ready to go. So this could get incredibly spicy. I'm going to be looking for counter battery with my own rockets to begin with so that we can cut down theirs. But let's just see how we want to deploy this. We do have a good amount of time to get into position here. We have a lot of troops available. I think we'll try and utilize the AT guns. Uh, so let's set up maybe a line of AT guns over here that can use the limited range to ambush tanks on that left side. We'll also want, if I have them, to use any Aether Gems. I don't believe that we do. There is a Fargo. We can use that up in the high rise here. And we'll have an Aftada with that as well. Wonderful. The other thing that we can do is probably bomb the artillery at the back. Actually, keeping these AT guns together now, I think about it, it's probably a bad idea. Let's just uh, move the middle one over to the left side here. Like that, so they're more spread out. Do the same over here. It only costs one point each to bring in, so that's actually very cost efficient. I'll have one back here as well. Wonderful. Uh, we can probably put a couple maybe in the center. They do have eight, eight gems, so they can fire at quite a long distance and do a lot of damage to the leopards. So we'll pop a couple either side of the highway here. We can put one further back. I'll of course want to make sure that I have a leader in here. We're going to put the Feld Depots at the back. Wonderful. <laughs> this is so much supply. Let's not bring all of them in case they get destroyed. <laughs> it's a lot, of, a lot of, uh, a lot of supply. Okay. Next thing we need to do is bring up all of the Mutschutzen, probably. 
don't have to worry too much about aircraft, so I don't need to bring any AA. I think we just do much Hudson. So one, two, three. Uh, go ahead and pop them into these buildings. Uh, we will have to really pay attention to the enemy artillery because there's a good chance that a lot of these will get absolutely smashed. But alas, it is war. See if we can hold a little bit further up there. Good. Do you have another group that can move up here? And after the start, what we're going to be doing is focusing probably a lot on artillery and also potentially have a little tank group that can run around all over the place. But I think that's okay for now. Might want to have some artillery ready to go from the offset. Oh, I do actually get more shots in with Metis. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. I will deploy these over here then. Because this is really good range for using these. Perfect. I am missing orders on one of those. Go. Okay. I'll pop them in there. We can also probably put Metis on the left side in the high rises. Let's do that. And I have one left for the leader. Perfect. Uh, what I'm going to do with this leader is we're just going to fast move over here. And then we can capture center, capture Boris straight after. Let's launch. And yeah, probably first tick, I'll buy three rocket artillery units and then we can focus on counter battery and here we are we're off into the town we go absolutely gorgeous when you zoom in in this game AT guns are going to be moving themselves into position we'll keep the MTLBs just behind so that we can pick them up if needs be Let's have the UAZs get out of there. Should probably bring in some of those meta squads over on this right hand side actually. Oh, we just lost our BMP before it unloaded. Unfortunate. I really don't mind if the BMP ones go down. It's the infantry dying that is a problem. So losing one squad there. Not great. I'm going to try and group up the BMPs once they unload. That way they'll be a lot more effective. And they won't just like waste their Asia gems like they are at the moment. Nice, both of the looks taken out by the BMPs, that's what we like to see. Oh, big hit there. We need to jump out of that building. Oh, actually, it might be better if we just uh, luster that road, because that is a lot of troops coming in there. All right, we're going to ping any artillery. We have killed a lot of leopards already. Oh, that was a juicy strike. Very nice indeed. The Metis running low on ammunition needs to get out of that building. Let's uh, jump across here. We can get some good shots in. That's going to crush all of the leopards on that side. All these back. More artillery, please. Fine 
We're going to put them in pairs in order to kill enemy units more efficiently. Oh, these leopards are very, very deadly when they get their shots on target. Make sure that I have my AT planes ready to go as well, because we can certainly take out a few leopards here and there with those. Need to make sure that these move after they fire. Looks like the meta squads here did a good job. But they're just running out of ammunition. I'm gonna try and get the unit up there to help out. Let's try and move forwards. This AT again. Sorry about the camera there. Accidentally pressed spacebar. The spacebar is actually a good one to to know. Uh, like a good key to know. It's very handy because what it does is whenever something dies on the right hand side if you can press spacebar it will just take you to exactly where it died that's why sometimes the camera will just like fly across to a different part of the map because that's what i'm doing i smashing stuff in the middle with that triple at gun that's working out very very nicely they're really not using much infantry at all, and that's allowing my infantry to get a lot of kills. I will want to back ourselves up here a little bit, I think. And we're currently only four minutes. Oh, nice kill. Four minutes until victory. That make 23 BN, managing to catch out the leader there. Very, very good indeed. As soon as he's getting range of the main guns, 100 mils can open up. The AT gun with the side shot from the Bastion missile. Oh, it's nasty. We got mod shots in here as well. Getting loads of good side shots in. I was really expecting more from their artillery in this one. But it looks like they focused primarily on their tanks, which has worked out nice for us so far. Our counter battery did a good job. I might just destroy that leopard with my rockets because it's got nothing else to fire at at the moment. And we'll hit this crossroad as well. And then we'll have those go back and resupply. Meanwhile, let's get more of these in. Everybody loves a good bit of MLRS action. That poor leopard destroyed this crossroad being smashed to pieces as well as that leopard comes through very very nice good stun let's just move forwards these mochets and i'm gonna shift all of these over to the left actually we'll attack through here and lead the charge or the mod should send. They are trying to counter battery my units at the same time. Kind of difficult to see where that's coming from. I think instead what I should just do is just target this area. Uh, let's get these unloaded. Yeah, because that's going to happen. Alright, let's fire at these leopards. Let's keep harassing them where we can. I can get my plane back out.
<laughs> talk about close our temporary support. I'd rather win by morale than by conquest, but I think if I win by conquest I get a total victory regardless. unfortunately we have done a ton of damage 39 seconds remaining this road just an absolute death trap for all these leopards and the BN maybe take one more out for me not quite I'm going to cluster that area again. We'll get the MiG-23 BN over on the left hand side. Although four seconds left, no more kills. That is it. Good game. So the meta is holding strong on the right hand side. We got 152 kills to 13 losses. I didn't manage to get a single point on the board. Incredibly hard for the AI to attack into that. Watch it and getting so many leopards kills here. Uh, the rocket artillery really helping us counter battery a little bit, not too much. Uh, let's see. The RM70 there getting two A3 kill. This RM70 getting two M109. So I managed to take out both of those. Very good. All right, let's move on. See what the damage is. Let's move on to our turn. That Panzer Battalion went from 10 attacking strength to 4. <laughs> that is brutal. They didn't actually attack me down here, interestingly enough. Uh, I would like them to attack me in this terrain. I'm just going to sort of adjust my troops into positions where I'll get forested terrain. I wonder if they can move through here. I think they might be able to. I'm going to shift this one to the side so that I can bring this one up. Okay. We have, of course, our helicopters back here. They don't get affected by terrain. You can see that we can just move them as far as we want. They can join us on the front line. We'll probably use them to demolish this Panzer Battalion as it will be all on its lonesome. And all we'll need to do is take out the couple Gepards and... That will be that. I'm a little bit worried about this unit hanging out on its own over here. Maybe I can move back slightly and deploy. That way they won't be in range to be attacked in the same turn if they do go for them. Otherwise there's not really else, nothing else for me to do on the front line. We just wait for the next attack. All of these troops that were at the front are probably going to leave. On the bottom side they are making that attack. So it is forest terrain, which is what we want. We'll bring in the 2nd Battalion and 3rd Battalion of the Mochusen Regiment. We can bring in some pretty strong artillery support in the form of the Akutsayas. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I might as well be using the JBG here because they'll be really, really handy picking off any annoying Panzer Battalions or Panzer um, t or Leopard Tanks, I would say, <laughs> that are getting in the way um, and attacking me in awkward positions. Okay, let's go. They have their rocket artillery available again, so we are going to have to watch out for a little bit of counter battery. But yeah, it seems like we have a pretty nice defensive position in this town and in this town that we can use to break down the enemy units. So first of all, let's see about getting maybe some of my AT guns and the Fargo's into position. So that'll be the first thing to do. I am going to need plenty of uh, ammo for these. I might not make them super obvious actually. Maybe we'll put them in the left side here, cover them. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll put 80 guns on this side. 
because I can keep the AT guns further back in cover and that will make them a lot more effective so we can unload one here we can unload one here and I could even unload one maybe like further back on the corner here we'll also throw some to the left side just in case I don't necessarily expect them to attack this side but maybe they will and if I have like a recon here that can spot them then uh, we can shoot this road here but they've got to go all the way down here all the way up over here if they want to get in on this side I'm gonna have a, an aft color sit back on here on the left and then we'll be able to see them we'll probably do the same on the right we'll just put like an aft ladder over here and then if they start to push on that side we'll see them coming meanwhile more Fargos and uh, let's see there is a church and put one in the church we can put one in that building and I'll probably put one on the left there and then AT guns we'll probably put one back here probably put one on the back of there might even put one here good and uh, we'll need like an aft cutter any tree lines I can hide in on this ridge don't think there is I could probably just put an aft cutter on the edge of the hill to be honest that will do uh, there's also a road that comes up through here that we're gonna have to keep an eye on so I'll probably put some aft cutter on that road that will be covered a little bit by these AT guns let's put another couple down in here okay now we need a leader it's gonna cap the back it's fine um, I might just keep one in here actually uh, probably yeah that's fine we'll just keep that there and then we can move Maybe an infantry leader into each of these towns. Let's do that. Very good. Uh, otherwise, it's a matter of just bringing in all the mods and BTRs, and also some supply, of course. Uh, let's not forget about that. Supply is going to be really important here. So we'll tuck one up by the church. We'll tuck one. Maybe behind this building. It's fine. I will do the same on this side. I'm just gonna have it like further back for the time being. I can tuck one on the road there, and I can put one there. And also, I'll put a third one on the right-hand side. We'll just have that kind of set at the back, ready to go. Cool. We don't really have much at the front here that can deal with enemy vehicles at range. Do I have any more ranged units? I guess I can maybe just have my mochets in there and then use planes. Or we could just let them in on the top side. I think the units on the flanks will catch them anyway. We could just let them in on the top side. Or I could maybe set up more AT guns. <laughs> Even more AT guns. We won't rely too much on the AT guns just in case they use artillery a lot this time around. Which I'm a bit worried they will. So we'll just spread out plenty of Mutschutzen. And have that ready to go. I'm going to spread out a few machets and around the place to cover off any flanking attempts. Like I could probably set up traps over here. I don't really want them to like zerg a bunch of leopards down here and just delete units for free. That would be a complete waste. But instead I think we invest it into the planes. We have the planes ready to go. 
So the AT planes mainly. But one unit that doesn't have an order. Okay, that's cool. Let's go. So the front's covered by recon. Actually, I probably could do with some extra recon in the town if there is any. Uh, we'll bring up the Motaf Clutter. Actually, let's put the Motaf Clutter over here and then we can put them in the church. And then... Let's see. Uh, we do have a couple of Afklada. We can maybe shift into positions and put them on return fire. <laughs> They're already a lot further up than I thought they'd be. Get that AT gun unloaded. I guess it's all the recon Lukes, so there's not, not too much to worry about. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, if they decide to come up on the right side here, it's not a big deal because we can just get a load of Mutschutz and spread out. Oh, wow, they're getting absolutely wrecked there. My AT gun's trying to do its best. Unfortunately, the AT gun did go down, but that's okay. We can catch out any extras. And we definitely need to probably cluster this. Let's just keep these all on the same side. Next tick will bring in even more. Both these AT guns are now dead. We're going to keep those MiGs around on this side. Oops, let's uh, not do that. Get those Mutchets in into position. We've got one missile available on each. Okay, we need to make sure that these are all at a similar position. <laughs> Any extra AT guns? We do have one more here. Big ambush. Big ambush. Where's my cluster boy? The main problem here will be we'll run out of ammunition. I think we got them all. That was awesome. Very, very nice ambush in the hills. Now we can kill the Jaguar with the SBWs. That can go back. Wonderful. I haven't really had to deal with artillery yet. Well, that's good. Uh, these three can move back to the supply. These three need to get unloaded. I did, unfortunately. Lose my T gun and the Fargo on the left here. Gonna drive this into the back side here. It's a shame the other AT gun got caught out in the open. Now 
Let's just rocket these. The rockets will still do a decent amount of damage. Late uh, moving that up there. Nice. That pack one hundred got deleted by the leopards. <laughs> the BMP1 side shot. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And again, what a beauty. This BMP1 crew. Absolute chad. As soon as this comes over the ridge, should start to get line of sight here. Oh, good hits from that rocket. Oh, I still have the cluster one hanging about at the back here. Uh, we can use that to maybe hit the ones back here. Let's do that. Bombs away! No chance. I didn't get the full kill. can also bring in more of these tanks here. We still have Akatayas we can use as well for artillery. I might bring in a couple. Now MiG-23s can hang about and we can pick off even more Leopard 2A3s. Now that we've dealt with the initial engagement, honestly there's probably not going to be too much more in our way, at least not quickly. There's like one leopard there moving towards us. Any of these we can just snipe. Beautiful dive. <laughs> that was flicker fast. Right, let's let those get their ammo back. They're back towards the road. Couple more targets for the MiG. It's always fun watching these MiGs go in. Beautiful. Like with that KH-23 optical missile hitting the side of those leopards. It's just gross. On the AT gun. Trying its best to hold the line. I wish I had more to support that. Uh, we can start moving up these tanks into a line. set them like this so that they can kind of all engage at the same time or at least at very similar times so you can see there that both the ones on the right opened up at the same time that's why I'm sort of setting up this angle with the Mochutsun just got to be careful of ammo beautiful Nice. Well, that was a quick victory. 
T55s are ready to go, but that's another total one. 115 kills, 7 losses. Might actually destroy this unit before we get a chance to use the helicopters on it. So we'll probably send the helicopters to Asfeld instead to help out there. And we'll try and maybe make a counterattack. But the MiG-23s, really, really coming in handy, of course. The 100mm packs in the right position can be really, really strong. The difficulty is, of course, that after they do get spotted, uh, you can sometimes like instantly load them, in, load them into MTRBs and, and pull them back, but it's just very, very micro-intensive. High Command is offering a temporary allocation of a SU-25 close air support squadron. They can be used over Alsfeld. What is our response? I mean, SU-25s, guys, it's fun. <laughs> this would be optimal because we really don't need the SU-25s. But <laughs> let's use SU-25s. <laughs> of course. Of course. This turn, maybe we make a counterattack here. Destroy the Panzer Battalion using the SU-25s. I think that could be fun. Let's move this towards Alsfeld. Alrighty. Yeah, let's uh, attack here. That's going to be planes, but that's actually okay in this scenario. Because we have the SU-25s. How many SU-25s do we get here? So two HE-1s, two Napalm, two Cluster, two AT, two Rocket. Quite a lot. Quite a lot. That would be good fun. But unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So I'm going to leave it here. In the next one, sorry for teasing you, we will be using the SU-25s on this engagement against the Panzer Battalion. And we will be continuing our battle at Alsfeld as well. I'm very tempted to kind of push out here and try and hit the BKK, but we don't really want to be engaging this one out in the open. If we can help it, we want them to uh, recover, come back, attack us again. That's what we're going to wait on, and I can get my helicopters there in the meantime to absolutely smash them to pieces. All right, well, that's it for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.